So today's rant is going to be on game engines. I went into this a little bit when I had the Loot Gamer crew around, but I need to expand on it. I, in case it's not obvious, am a huge fan of the Unreal Engine when it comes to making your own games. And this goes for everybody. Big, small, doesn't matter. Anyone can use Unreal. They got a very good licensing agreement. Last I checked, you can use it for free, and you don't even need to give Epic any money until your game makes over $3,000 each year. Then you gotta pay them 5% of what you make. Which, I mean, if you make the next, uh, the next Minecraft, that's gonna be a lot of money. But most of us don't have to worry about that. And let's be honest here, most indie developers don't end up making anywhere near 3000 a year in the first place. So it's not, not going to be much of a risk. So Unreal Engine, pretty good. People are comparing it to Unity. And yeah, when I had Lion on stream, now he is Loot Gamer's developer. He confirmed it with me too. Unreal Engine is infinitely better than Unity, not just in feature set and ease of use but also support. If you have a problem with Unity and you're not giving them six figures of money for their professional packages, they don't give a shit about you. They couldn't care less. And on top of that, in Unreal, you get the source code. So I just had to get this out of the way. Like, I know you guys are probably thinking now, oh my god, it's just another epic fanboy trying to sell his shit. I had to get that out of the way because we get to the but part of the video. I love Unreal Engine, but I don't like where Epic is going as a company. I haven't liked them as a company for quite a while, actually. And the reason this is dangerous is because uh, the industry is getting more and more reliant on things like the Unreal Engine. It's a good way to save money, right? If you don't want to go through and make your own. But this is the big problem. If you haven't been paying attention, there recently was controversy around a game called Rape Day on Steam. And if I remember correctly, it was made using the Unreal Engine. So after the NPCs attacked Steam and the developer of the game, they also saw the Epic and Unreal logos, and they attacked Epic as well. Because, hey, look, your guys' name and brand and logo are associated with this highly problematic game. And to Epic's credit... They handled that situation perfectly. A little bit of a backstory there. In case you aren't aware, that's in the license agreement for the Unreal Engine. You have to display prominently the Epic and Unreal logos. So the developer did nothing wrong. They did exactly what they were required to do. And Epic came to them and said, you know what? You are exempt from this, this portion of the contract. We give you an exemption. Please remove all of our logos from your game. You can still use the engine, but remove that shit. We don't want to be associated with it. That made sense. And I respect Epic for doing it that way. But remember, we live in clown world. We live in current year. And we've never hit peak current year. We're never going to. It's just going to keep getting worse. And this is what I'm worried about. As someone who wants to make a game, what would happen if a few years in the future Epic changed their tone? It's only a matter of time until some so-called problematic game becomes popular, or a game by a problematic individual or company gets popular, and it happens to be made in the Unreal Engine. And there's nothing stopping Epic from coming in and saying, yeah, you know what, you're not allowed to use our engine. Like, I was worried that that's what they were gonna do with Rape Day. I was pleasantly surprised when all they said was, yeah, you're exempt from the logo requirement. You just keep doing what you're doing, just remove our logo. I was pleasantly surprised. But is that going to happen in the future? Is I mean, There's no guarantees. What would happen if Epic were to pull a Nintendo? And for, the, for those of you who aren't aware, Nintendo has a habit of coming down real hard on fan projects that use their IPs, but they do it in the most dickish way possible. They are aware of these projects for over a decade sometimes, and they do nothing. And when Nintendo does nothing, the developer could get a false sense of security and think to themselves, hey, maybe Nintendo doesn't mind what I'm doing. Maybe Nintendo has no problem with this. All right, we're going to continue. And then two fucking days before they drop their finished game, Nintendo slaps them with a cease and desist and says, Oh yeah, never mind, you guys can't use our property, you need to shut this down right now. They've known about it for years, 
And they waited until these developers wasted all that time and effort before telling them, yeah, never mind, you can't do this. What if Epic does that? Like, if they see someone that they don't like making a game, or someone making a game they don't like, and then they wait until two days before release to arbitrarily say, hey, you know what? We don't like you, so you can't use our engine. What are you gonna do? Hasn't happened yet, but... Remember, we live in clown world. I would not be surprised if sometime within the next five years, we, we are going to see Epic do this. And companies bait and switch all the damn time as they get more power and influence in an industry, as an industry becomes dependent on them. I wouldn't surprise me to see them do things like this. Yeah, and, and again, I think the uh, the catalyst may be an actual successful game. Like, a, a very successful, like, Minecraft levels of success that they view as problematic. If that were to happen, the NPCs are gonna savagely attack Epic for letting these problematic individuals use their engine. So going forward, it's gonna get harder for people to use their engine because Epic, nothing's stopping them from updating their contract to say that uh, they reserve the right to refuse anyone they don't like from using their engine. We need to plan for the future, man. Again, as someone who wants to make a game and who really loves the Unreal Engine, I see where the current political climate is going and I'm not comfortable using the Unreal Engine to make anything because even though I don't plan on making anything at first anyway, that would be uh, that would get banned or become problematic or raise a stink they may not like me personally and that could be more than enough reason and again unity's out of the question so unity i've already gone into that no need to reiterate but they're also ran by npcs yeah that's not going to happen but thankfully the last time i ranted about this people brought godot to my attention that's fully open source and free engine definitely no unreal engine but Fully free and open source. Yeah, it's consistently getting better. It's at version 3.1 right now. This may be the route I choose to take when I make my own game, to be honest with you. Just so I would not be beholden to Epic in, in case they ever arbitrarily decide to not let me use their engine after I'm, I've already spent years using it and am ready to release my game. We need to insulate ourselves from this shit, man. Yeah, again, this is coming from someone who's effectively a fanboy of Unreal Engine. I just, I don't trust current year politics enough to use another tool that a company could arbitrarily up and decide, you're not allowed to use this. We don't like you or we don't like the product you're making using our tool. In my opinion, that is as fucking stupid as a pencil manufacturer trying to dictate what you're allowed to draw using their pencils. But we live in current year. We live in the clown world. Stupid is the new norm. And we gotta be prepared for it. And something like Godot, who, which is completely open source and free, if they ever decides to go full NPC, all you need to do is fork their repository. That's it. And you can make your own. I love this too. No strings attached. No royalties, nothing. Your game is yours down to the last line of engine code. Fuck. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm even going to contribute to it. Fuck. And I mean, not even just financially, but code-wise, because I am a professional developer. I could, if I start making my game and I start using this, any improvements I make to the engine, I'm going to try to check in, man. This is what we need right there. So yeah, thank you guys for bringing this up, because I wasn't even aware of the engine, to be honest with you. I mean, I didn't look all that hard, because again, I still am an Unreal Engine fanboy, but... I don't trust that Epic won't just arbitrarily take away my ability to use that engine. So that's it for that rant. I just figured I'd bring that up. We need to be very careful in current year about uh, what we do. To have you, All the NPCs say, build your own this, build your own that. But if you do, they go after your payment processors, your hosts, the makers of the tools you used to build your own stuff. In this case be Unreal Engine. We gotta head this off at the pass, man. If you don't want to be uh, effed in the A like all those uh, hobby developers were by Nintendo, you gotta prepare, man. You gotta prepare. And that's all I gotta say about that.